Alright gamers, welcome back to RBI Baseball. I'm in Voyance, and we got the fourth game here of the ALDS. Unfortunately, in real life, the uh, Mariners won't be in the ALDS. Uh, the Rays will, and so will two other freaking teams from the AL East. Now, I, 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 ain't gonna, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get started with that, but it's annoying. Uh, but anyway, game four, we still got the lead in the series despite taking a L. Uh, it was their last home game of the series. Um, Flexen would be next in my order, but, I mean, yeah, Kikuchi has a shitty ERA, but still. I would probably trust him a bit more. That's probably not the right thing to do, but, uh, uh, kind of hard to choose. You know what, Flexen, actually, if I could, I don't know who I'm going to choose. I'm probably just going to, I'm going to choose Flexen, I guess. Um, batters, probably going to stay this order, and uh, we'll get into game four, another elimination game for the Rays. Hi everyone, I'm Fran Charles. It's a beautiful night here at T-Mobile Park. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Seattle Mariners. All right, so goal right now, Fly win the game. To right field. That's all we need to do. It's pretty, and pretty simple, really. Out number one. I mean, that was our goal last game, but uh, today is a new day, literally. I recorded the last episode for game three on a different day, of course. I wouldn't have been able to make that comment about the Mariners. Oh, shit. Okay. They got the lead already. Still going to boost him up. Okay, fine. That's how it's going to be. Yeah, they play an elimination game, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're gods. Pitch on the corner. Yeah, Strike I one. destroyed them in game one and two, but, you know, okay, go off, I guess. To the left side. Throws over the first. I'm just salty, Correct. that's all. Don't worry about me. This could be much easier, but it's not. Fastball, strike one. Up in the zone, nothing in two. Just gotta get this strikeout, and then the inning's over. There's a nice. Strikeout. Yeah, well, they got a lead by one. We're known for early leads, though. So early runs would be nice, so we can get back on it. I want to say they did the same yeah, thing in Game Three, though, where they got the early lead. I came back, and then they eventually ran off. Swing and a miss. Strike one. But uh, it's not gonna happen tonight. So I don't want it to. Swing Damn it. And a miss. Swinging late Strike again. Two. Same problem I had last time. It's just swinging like shit. Fly ball into oh, that doesn't help. Drop. Uh, Bulls in the catch. One away. Of course he, he had it, but you know. It's fine. Swing and a miss. Swing it Strike fucking late one. again. I don't know what my deal is. Swing and a miss. Why do I swing Strike at that two. shit? It's gonna turn into me complaining. Foul ball and out of play. The Envoyance right. Grape Center. Uploading Mondays for Wednesday. There's a shit. Trying to swing on time so we can get nice hits. Fly ball. Instead, right keep key. doing that. Whatever. Alright, well, didn't tie it up or get that early lead, but it's fine. And now we're at the heart of their uh, lineup here with uh, Rosarina and Shui. So that's awesome. Okay. I was going to say, I was trying to switch to France, but as long as it worked out, more screwing around, he would have actually got the single out of that mess because of Rosarina's fast as hell. And that's just on the corner for a strike, and he's ahead. Dribbler to the right side. All picks right. it up, throws over the first. Very good. It's got to keep it in the infield. We'll be solid here. Oh, one. It's trying to get confidence in every pitch here. On the ground so to the right side. I would hope that Flexen would go long, but who's to say? Oh, we still got a one-run deficit here. 
I don't know what's been wrong with me the last like few times I've been playing, but my swinging has just been awful. Slider. That's like, hot. Shitty decision making. Swinging a garbage, which you know I, I've had spells where There's that happened. Uh, that happened more than it should. But you know maybe I'm just mad because it's happening now when I'm playing playoffs. But you know, whatever. You get my point. Fastball missed outside. One and out. I'm swinging late. It's like I don't know what my reaction times about. Strike that was the one. same pitch over and over, but I still still look at the second one. On the ground, to the right side. As long as we get the guy to third, we're okay. Up, throws over to first, and the throw in time for out number one. Do the same thing. Hopefully, they don't get a squeeze. Drill to the left side. Nah, I can't. He it up, and he got Damn it. When I said do the same thing. That did happen. Swing yeah, that miss. was a great pitch. No balls, one strike. Torres still got a six average. Damn it, not going to score. Got one guy on, but couldn't do anything with it. Ah, whatever. It's, it's what it is. It's just annoying. I think in reality, I just want this series to be over. <laughs> That's the whole thing. To right field. Good, right where I'm standing. I don't have to move. And that animation gets glitched. It's always funny to me. On the ground, to the right side. Right, there we go. Fires to first base. As long as we just keep it within reach, because right, you know, one fluky home run gives them a run. Fly ball to center field. So be it. We just need our fluky home run to give me a run. And we're all happy, friends. But uh, we still got a while to go, so... Let's, um, let's get gaming here. Damn it. These pitches, man. Out of play. We'll stay right here. No balls, two strikes. I've always complained about a hand-eye coordination because I always mention how I'm not a console gamer, like at all. And so sometimes I wonder. I thought that was going to be a double. Well, we'll get a double out of it anyway. But I sometimes wonder if the reason that I have problems like that with timing is I don't have the hand-eye of a console gamer. And so, you know, we get those problems emerging. That's why I swing late all the time. Please be out of here. Awesome. That's funny, I said please be out of here, and then it's out of here. Awesome. Alright, we got the lead. It's still early, so we need a bigger lead than that, but still lead. A one-run lead could could do better, please. Swing and a miss. No I knew that was going to be strike. a good pitch, and then I hesitated for some reason. I see a therapist, like a right physical field. therapist. Going, going. Second home run. Nice. It's all about getting that bigger lead. That's what we're going for here. I wonder if there's a way I can get my coordination better. Sheesh. But, uh, just gotta keep putting on the pounds. Fastball missed inside. Ball one. And by pounds, I mean runs. Fly ball to right. Nah, it's not. It's not doing the same thing. I'm not. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not, not doing what I wanted it to, but pretty damn close. To what I wanted. Uh, I poached that one, but I might get there. Damn. Close. If it was just a little faster, he might have actually gotten a single out of that. But now it's really about keeping them where they're at because we have the lead. We can win with this three to one if we really, you know. Get, get that lucky. So, I'm down with it. It's, it's, it's 
top of fourth. We still got a long game to go. Strike one. So I'm not, you know, going to freak out yet. On the ground, but the left side. I might do that cheeky shit right there where I just keep jamming him on the inside, making him swing late as hell. And, you know, right to my third baseman. Oh, at least the lefty swing late, but, you know. Fly ball into shallow right. I will get a guy aboard, but I want to make sure that's it. Over first. Not in time. He's safe. I knew it. Y'all saw that. I, I watched the camera for a second, and nothing happened. And then as soon as he goes, dribbler to the left side. Whatever, it doesn't mean anything. Got him. Deal with it. <laughs> I saw that. Like I somehow just like felt it because I, I don't you know when there's a man aboard I usually don't immediately check. Like I immediately check if he's been on base for a minute or two. Or like, you know, it's two outs and stuff. Well, there was two outs there, so I guess it made sense, but... Down the first baseline. It was just funny, you know, I was thinking it. And, and I was gonna do a... I wonder if I did check the runner, would that have actually gotten him out? I don't know. You've gotten pickoffs before when I was just playing by myself. I don't think I've ever recorded myself getting one. So I'm not exactly aware of what it looks like or if it looks like anything. I don't believe it does. I just think it means they don't get there. Like they stay put for a second and then they go and dive back. Okay, we got a righty batter finally, so hopefully it won't go straight to the first baseman or second baseman this time. No, over the second baseman's head, that's what we're doing. Too slow to get a double out of that, so it'll stay where we're at. bottom of our order anyway. Uh, that's it. Oh, damn it. We actually were almost safe there that time as well. So by the time that second baseman got there, I have a lot of unconfident pitches, but it's probably too late to work on the confidence for those. So he's going to use the change of sinker and fastball for the rest of the game, I think. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying was he went for the fielder's oh, choice at second. By the time it got to him, I had already slid into second. So he was forced to go and throw it to uh, first. And we were actually so close. Like, if we had a faster runner, we would have had that easy. But it's what it is. Oh, why do you have to commit errors in this game, sir? This is like the game you shouldn't be committing errors. Well, I guess if we get to game five, that's that's when I don't want to see a single error. But I guess you've still got the out anyway, but usually when this game gives you errors, it uh, screws you over on purpose. I didn't count that as an error because I got the out, so... Works for me, it's not like the uh, box score matters, it's all virtual. So... We'll stay I don't right really here. care. If you want to keep track of how many errors a player has, be my guest. I'm not somebody that's really big on all of the uh, fucking stats and stuff. Like, honestly, I find that stuff, like, super annoying and, and irrelevant and a little ridiculous when you really think about it. I'm not, I really, I'm not somebody that likes all the statistics and stuff. Like, if that's your thing, cool, but I just wish that it wasn't such a big thing, like, you know, if it was sort of like an enthusiast type thing, you know, instead of being forced upon everybody. I mean, this is a very controversial take, I understand, but uh, my point is, is, you know, I don't care about, you know, war or, you know, the more obscure stats, like that one in particular. It's like, okay. Or like, uh, 162 average, like, okay. Swing and a miss. Fine. Two. Um, but you know, like some things aren't as you know necessary to keep track of. But yeah, it's insisted upon by some. Now, I was gonna say I could have gone two if I knew it was gonna be that wild. But anyway, um, 
I was gonna say that it's you know I kind of like how hockey is sort of you know its own thing you know and there's not as much stat keeping you know time on ice obviously goals assists points are important you know penalty minutes those sort of things but you know nowadays they're they're working on getting those uh, implanted chips and um, jerseys and pads and whatever you know to make it more transparent like speeds and stuff like you know they already started using it for like the, the playoffs so but you know like keeping track of like you know speed oh I didn't mean to throw that shit uh, we ended up lucking out but you know like wrist shot shot uh, slap shot speed okay that's kind of cool I guess but as long as it doesn't develop, oh, okay, I was like, that's going to be fair, but roll just a little bit. As long as it doesn't develop into, you know, some, like, you know, average slap shot speed and stuff like that. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm big into hockey for the, you know, actions and the th shit and the thrill. And, uh, now there goes that. Still got a lead, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Franco was the one that scored the first uh, home run, too, so... Intentionally walk that man, I guess. Not really, but you know. But you know, and then also yeah, Kraken are coming this season, so I'm probably going to be an even bigger hockey fan starting very soon. Um, Ball freezes him on the corner. Strike two. Hit hard to second. Into the glove and wow. Throws over to first. And the throw in time for out number one. Hit hard to the right side. Great stop on that ball. Throws over to first. Two away. Swing and a miss, and he's ahead. And he popped it up to the left side. And that's it for the six minutes. Fastball, strike one. Drill to the right side, and he's able to grab the hot shot. One away. Gets in at the bottom of the strike zone. Strike one. Two away. Stab that one for the end. Swing and a miss. Nothing in one. Fly ball to right field. Leaps and nabs that one. One away. Straight back to the pitcher. Scooped up by Tigio. Two away. That's high. Ball one. Swing and a miss. A ball and a strike. Liner to left field. 
And that drops in for a base hit. And he stopped in second, beats the throw. Down the first base line and foul. The walls, one strike. Tough pitch on the corner. Oh, two. Hit hard to center field. And that drops in there for a base hit. And he slides and the second for two. Swing and a miss. About to get one. Out of play. We'll stay right here. Nothing in two. There's a strikeout. And he got it. And that one. And he beats Wendell to the bag for that out. Slider, 0-1. Thrill to the second baseman. And he stabs that one for the out. Fastball, strike one. Dribbler to the right side. Picks it up, throws over the first, and he got it. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Nothing in one. Picks it up, throws over to first, and he got him for number one. There's a line drive to right field, and that drops in for a base hit. Throws over to first. Drill to the right side, and it falls in, base hit. There's one. And he beats out the throw to avoid the double play. Fly ball to left field. Ball drops in, and that's a base hit. It's in the stands for a round here double. On play, we'll stay right here. Oh, one. it up and he got him and that will do it for the eighth end. Change up. High pitch gets in the strike zone. No balls, one strike. Fly ball to right field. This one is a shot. A solo shot and it's a five to three ball game. Missed inside. One ball, no strikes. Fastball. Raises him. One on the corner. One and one. Drill to the right side. Picks it up. Throws over to first. And he beats Diaz to the bag for the out. Fastball. That one's inside. Ball one. Change up. Missed inside. Ball two. 
Strike one. On the ground to the left side. Fielded by Crawford. Fires to first base. Two away. Here's a grounder to the third baseman. Into the glove of Seager. Throws over to first. And he got it. And this game is over. The Mariners get the win by a score of 5-3. to three. But there you have it. We are the AL Division Champions, kind of, if you want to call it that. But moving on to the ALCS, beat the Rays two, three games to one. And, uh, of course, flexing with the win. That's what we like to see. And also, we got a uh, game again the, against the Angels for the ALCS. Somehow the Pirates and the Nationals are in the NLCS. Don't ask me. Uh, but with that being said... That is going to do it for this video. We'll move on to the ALCS against the Angels uh, next time. So until then, thank you for watching, and more than ever, take care.